Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. And as we continue our coverage here with Slam Dance, I am very to have, very happy to have in studio uh, Reed Asselstein and uh, Joyce Wong. They are from the film uh, Wexford Plaza. It's terrific to have you here in studio. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, absolutely. I started watching this film a little bit last night. And uh, I am I'm excited about this. This is uh, it's already moving along for me pretty well. Awesome. I, I get, you play uh, Betty, yes. uh, the uh, lead role. Tell me a little bit about her character. Uh, well, Betty is uh, sort of a lost soul looking yeah. for love, and um, you know she she's a little bit desperate. <laughs> yeah. But she uh, she falls for a, a deadbeat bartender, Danny. Um, and then uh, there's a misunderstood encounter that sort of unravels her life and his life. Yeah, it kind of throws things in a, a little bit of turmoil. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> uh, so what was difficult about this role? Difficult? Yeah. Uh, what was challenging? Huh. I would say, um, I mean, just uh, being your, your non-typical leading body type. Yeah. Um, that can be a, a bit challenging to, uh, you know, portray a character where where you have to sort of use that as an influence uh, um, about like what's affecting her. Yeah, that's that's tough. I think subject matter by itself. Yeah. For a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, talk. Well, I want you to talk a little more about that because I think that's something that we don't talk about often in cinema. We're so concerned about that yeah. typically, right? Uh, how do you feel about getting the chance to show a different side of that? I think it's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I do too. I think people uh, will relate to Betty more because they feel like you know she's got a more relatable body type to yeah, um, a normal person. Yeah, right? she's not your typical uh, little blonde leading lady. So. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I'm impressed uh, already by uh, just so far that I've seen in the film. We're gonna watch the trailer here in a minute, but just uh, you know how relatable you make it. Yeah, I, I definitely felt some things right out of the gate. I'm like, wow. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's really impressive how much I feel like we're just everyday people for exactly, a moment, yeah. which I don't normally have in a film. Yeah. So that's really cool. All right, Joyce, uh, tell me about this film and why you decided to be uh, involved in the project. Well, I'm the writer and the director. Oh, you're a writer as well. I did not know that. Okay. Yes, yes. I knew you were the director. Yeah, and um, I live in a place where there's all these dilapidated strip malls. Yeah. Just the suburbs of You Toronto. mean America? <laughs> yeah, America. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all these businesses that are empty in these plazas, right? Yeah. And then I remember hanging out at them a lot when I was young, and I kind of wanted to make a bit of a love letter to my youth, but right. in a dark comedy kind of fashion. Well, you definitely have done that. I, I think that's certain. Uh, we've got the, the trailer. Let's take a look at it. It's Wexford Plaza. Wow. I, okay, Wexford Plaza, it, that's a real place, too. I, I looked it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, is yeah. Real, there is a real Wexford Plaza. Yeah. Have you been to it? Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of them, actually. Okay. There's, I think there's one in near Philly or something. Right. And then there's one in Scarborough. Okay. Yeah, so we spent a lot of time in that area. The ones that I, I know that are dilapidated around us are the family plot, the, uh, the family place. Mm. And there's like four different ones for each city. So there's the, you know, the Midvale family place. And, the, you know, and, yeah. and I f have the same feeling about them. They look very similar to that. Mm -hmm. They have a color scheme and it's like yeah. kind of old. And you're like, yeah, 1970. Mm -hmm. 19, you know, 80. Yeah, it's beautiful. It, 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 it is. I yeah. think th th that's something that we, uh, you know, that we obviously growing up, you sort of embrace that still, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, let's dig a little deeper, though, into the character. Um, tell me about uh, where she's going in life. What's, what's her, we know her ultimate goal is to find some love, right? That's a big part of this, right? Yeah, I, I think the, uh, the end of the film, without spoiling anything, is, yeah. is uh, hopeful in a way. Um, we, we call it a, a slice of like life dark comedy um, because it's really just a, a piece of the characters' lives. You don't really get a sense of where they've come from or where they're headed, um, but mm. you still sort of feel hopeful at the end that, that things will work out for them. Indeed. Uh, the t what's the runtime on this film? It's 80 minutes. 80 minutes. Yep. And you've already premiered uh, yep. up at uh, the uh, Slime Dance Film Festival. When are you showing again? Tonight, actually. Is that right? Yeah, okay. 8.45 p.m. 
Yeah, and you guys have a fairly large uh, contingent of people around yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, who's here with you uh, for, with all of this? You guys brought uh, a bunch of people. Yep, uh, my two producers, yep. Matt Grayson, Harry Cherniak, and our cinematographer, um, Maya Bankovic. Okay, and what did you shoot this on, speaking of cinematography? We shot this on a C100 Mark II, which okay. is a, a Canon documentary camera, because we want it to be really light on our feet, yeah. and to be able to move around and catch like natural moments, and also natural stuff from the environment. Did you do something to kind of give it, a, a, like is there a, some kind of a, something you did in After Effects or something to kind of give it a different, or maybe in, in color to kind of make it look a little aged? Because I, I feel like it's, I don't know, it's, it feels like it's uh, a little uh, old school. You know, like yeah. I feel like I'm watching something from the 80s. Yeah, that was a lot of our references when we were shooting. So we made sure the colors were right. We never put anything really crazy, like lime neon into the scene. Right. And also the second thing we did was in color, we showed a lot of references of old photographs t taken on film. And the colorists tried to emulate that kind of look when, when he did the color correction. Really? Yeah. Well, it's, it's nice. I love it. It's a very, uh, there's a ethereal look to it, I felt like, uh, that's really, really, really nice. Um, and then uh, talk to me about your previous projects and what you guys are doing next. So where are we headed now? Um, this is my first feature okay. that I've ever worked on. I was in one other short film um, that was a student film produced at York University where we actually both went. <laughs> yeah. Um, next, I, I don't have anything I'm working on now, so I mean, if anybody's hiring. You're an actor who needs a job. <laughs> that's like yeah. all of us, right? Amazing. <laughs> I think that's what Sundance is all about. Yeah. Actors looking for the next thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I'm just working on networking right now and met a lot of really incredible people. So. Well, I'm sure when they see your performance, they're gonna be all over it. Um, because I, when you're looking for your cell phone, I felt that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I know what that's like. <laughs> so what's next for you? Well, we're hoping to develop this into a TV show. So really? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so working on That'd the be death great. and stuff right now. All right. Uh, well, it's uh, again, this is a narrative uh, full-length feature. It is, uh, of course, you can find it up at uh, Slam Dance at the uh, festival there. Again, tonight is the next time we can see it. Yeah. And uh, is that the last showing for you guys? Are you guys out of town? You're gone after that? Yeah. See ya? Gone after that. Yeah? You're not staying to see if you win? Oh, um, no, we're staying one more day. <laughs> okay, good. All right. <laughs> the staying film through will be Thursday gone. And, then, uh, and then out of here. Yeah. Did you have a good time? I guess I should ask you that too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. good time yeah. at Sundance. Incredible. A lot of my, snow. My first uh, film festival experience. It's been really amazing. Well, Slam Dance is a lot of fun, and that experience of being up at Treasure Mountain by itself with other, other filmmakers is usually one that uh, is, is uh, wholly different than anything else. Mm. I sure appreciate coming and joining us here in studio as well. Thank you so much. Us. Yeah, you bet. It's Wexford Plaza. Check it out tonight uh, at uh, Slam Dance. That, of course, as I said, is at the Treasure Mountain Inn, as are all the films there. When you go up there, you're among filmmakers who are there for the love of film. We've got a lot more coming up here on the Mountain Morning Show right after the break.